is up my friends good morning we are at the bins we are here early today too got here about uh 20 minutes after they they opened so it's a little bit empty here so i'm going through the bins trying to look at all of them pretty quick before it gets busy guys so i apologize i wasn't filming much today but we're about to wrap it up i got a whole basket of goodies here um lots of plush i was able to score because i came here since i got here early um yeah but we're about to go because i gotta go down to the booth and uh, restock it fill it up uh, make sure everything's good over there so what do you guys say i think we're good i think we're ready to go look at all those people look at all those people going mad going mad for the new world too the new row over there Woo! it's dangerous to be in there let's see what else we got over here all right i think i've seen this bin already all right let's get out of here all right my friends we are back home from the bins sorry i didn't get that much footage i just i was trying to get through because i had to go somewhere else take care of some business and i'll let you know what that business was or is was uh in the next video but i got tons of plush and I, like i said i got there early enough to where it wasn't busy um even even when i go it's usually not that busy if you get there after lunch then that's when it's busier not super busy but busier uh i wanted to get there early and check it out i got there about 20 minutes before um they opened uh no 20 minutes after they opened so i walked right in i was able to you know check out all the all the bins real quick and pull out what i saw laying on top that i wanted and then went back started digging through uh through the bins and picking out you know the stuff that's hiding under all the top layers but like i said i got a bunch of plush so i'm gonna show you those items first so let's get right into it gets a nice little bundle here first one you saw you um you actually saw this in the video it's a warner brothers um looney tunes tasmanian devil it's a tasmanian devil dressed up as a devil i wonder if this is like a halloween item or something but taz is a good one um Got the Grave Digger. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Uh, oh, it has a little tear, but it's all right. So we got that guy there. Grave Digger was my favorite. Um, monster truck going up. I still want to go back to the monster trucks, you know. Once all this, once we're able to go to attend a monster truck show, I do want to go back and check them out. It's been a while since I've seen one and got uh we got a dinosaur here a big dinosaur animal adventure good brand um stegosaurus so we actually got two of these i got one at the bottom of the pile so i brought both of them home because so they were cool dinosaurs and then uh picked up this big spongebob here this guy is from 2011 so we got that one there little kermit the frog i don't know if he's he's oh he's a tie so 
I don't know. His th his tag is kind of washed out, so I can't really find a year or anything. But I'm sure we could find that on the year on eBay or Google it. So that's a good one there. Just listed a Kermit the other day. Got another one of these uh, Aurora Mioni Tots. Mioni Tots? Yeah. So he has a little uh, tag there. So that's what the tag looks like there. Mioni. Another bear. Little black bear. It's pretty cool. So pick that one up. All right. And then we have this dinosaur here. Thunder Stomper. See, plush are fun. It's a cool dinosaur. And he still has his Goodwill tag. He was being... His price was $4.99. He didn't sell at the Goodwills. So I picked him up for a couple cents here. Again, um... I'll be sure to tally up uh, the price I spent close to $90. Uh, but I'll tally up everything and let you know what I paid per piece. Uh, per piece price right here. And we're not going to forget this time. It should be there. It's going to be there. I promise. I promise. Next item we got is a Disney Store Simba, I want to say. I don't know if this is from like the other Lion King movies. What's that? Lion Guard or those other ones. But... I want to say this is Simba or a young Nala, maybe Simba or Nala. What do you guys think? I don't know, but it's a nice size. Lion King, eh, you know, it was there though. So picked it up. Got this kangaroo here. Cole's Cares has the tag. Uh, this kangaroo, what is this kangaroo from? Uh, it doesn't say, but it has a tag. That's a cool little, uh, what would you call it, a spot around its eye. So, pick that up. Like I said, I pick up Cole's Cares. Got this um, <clears throat> Aurora. No, Douglas. Douglas horse here. Douglas is cool. Their horses are cool. So, cuddle toys. You see that? Nice condition. His mane isn't, you know, all nappy and stuff. All tangled. So we got that. We got another kangaroo here with its joey and its uh, uh, little, what are they called? What are these called? Pocket? I don't know. And this one is, I don't know. It's a nice tag though. Like it's a nice paw e something. It's a nice tag though. So it's good, can, good uh, quality plush. So we got that one. Kangaroo. All those Australian uh, animals sell, sell pretty well. Got another uh, Dark Knight Batman um, Build-A-Bear cost suit here. I have one. I haven't listed them. I'm trying to collect or bundle up a bunch of Build-A-Bear clothes. Like, see that? I got a, a Timberland. Got a Timberland boot here. Uh, Build-A-Bear. So we got that. Got a little, this is going to be for the booth, a um, Paw Patrol here. What's this guy's name? Spotty? Is his name Spotty? Hey, Spotty. I don't know. But Paw Patrol is good. This guy was cool. He seemed interesting. His colors were pretty cool. Purple and the turkey, turquoise, turquoise, turquoise uh, here. This guy is Animal Adventure. So that was good. That's a good brand. Sells for me. Got a Clifford the Big Red Dog. And Scholastic put this one out. But here he goes. So do we have a year? I'm looking for a year on this. this is a nice tag. Let's see. Nope. Don't see a year. But it's a good one. Next item we got is a Disney Store Simba, I want to say. I don't know if this is from like the other Lion King movies. What's that? Lion Guard or those other ones. But I want to say this is Simba. Or a young Nala, maybe? Simba or Nala? What do you guys think? I don't know. But it's a nice size. Lion King, eh, you know. It was there, though. So picked it up. Got this kangaroo here. Cole's Cares has the tag. Uh, this kangaroo, what is this kangaroo from? 
it doesn't say but it has a tag has a cool little uh what would you call it a spot around its eye so pick that up like i said i pick up cole's cares got this um <clears throat> aurora no douglas douglas horse here douglas is cool their horses are cool so cuddle toys you see that nice condition his mane isn't you know all nappy and stuff all tangled so we got that we got another kangaroo here with its joey and it's a uh, uh, little what are they called what are these called pocket i don't know and this one is i don't know it's a nice tag though like it's a nice Paw E something. It's a nice tag though, so it's good can good uh quality plush. So we got that one. Kangaroo. All those Australian uh animals sell sell pretty well. Got another uh Dark Knight Batman um Build a Bear cost suit here. I have one. I haven't listed them. I'm trying to collect or bundle up a bunch of build a bear clothes. Like see that? I got a a Timberland. Got a Timberland boot here, uh, build a bear. So we got that. Got a little. This is gonna be for the booth. A um, Paw Patrol here. What's this guy's name? Spotty. Is his name Spotty. Hey, Spotty. I don't know, but Paw Patrol is good. This guy was cool. He seemed interesting. His colors were pretty cool. Purple and the turkey, turquoise, turquoise, turquoise. Uh, here this guy is animal adventure So that was good. That's a good brand sells for me got a Clifford the big red dog And Scholastic put this one out what here he goes So do we have a year? I'm looking for a year on this, this is a nice tag Let's see Nope, don't see a year, but that's a good one. We got another, what I believe is Lion King, but maybe not. He does not have a tag, so, but I thought he was pretty cool. So, pick that one up. And I picked up one that I tell you guys not to pick up, Mickey Mouse. But I got him because he has the patch. The genuine, original authentic disney store patch there was actually a mini mouse there too that i passed her up and after i saw him i was going to go back get the mini mouse and then lot them up together and sell them that way but of course i forgot to do that so i only have mickey here but he's in nice condition and he has a patch so we got some things going for him here's the other stegosaurus there the big guy right here this is a animal adventure Got that one. Great Smoky Mountains. Little souvenir bear. I thought he was cool. His little safari outfit. And, you know, maybe somebody needs their Great Smoky Mountain bear again. We have some Build a Bear action here. What would you say? This is a German, a German Shepherd, maybe. So uh, when it comes to Build a Bear, I don't pick up the bears, the, like the generic bears. You want to look for like some special ones or some unique ones like dogs or whatever. Um, not these sell a little bit quicker, but the more like um, I picked up, they have you, you know you just want to look for those uh, like limited edition ones or the ones you know that like uh, the Star Wars ones or whatever. You know what I mean? Just don't pick up the bears so much, especially if you don't sell a lot of plush, because those probably won't move for you. But that's a cool, nice one. <clears throat> so, like this guy, Build a Bear here. Cool colors. Frozen. So, we got Elsa here. It's a frozen. So, this is something you might be interested in picking up, maybe. Because I don't know how, how good Frozen's going to sell now. But if there is a part three for that movie, I haven't seen part two. So, I don't know if it's set up for a part three or not. Um, then all the Frozen stuff's going to sell again. So. But that was a nice one. I picked it up because it's nice. And it's from the bin. So playing, I'm sure I paid less than 50 cents for that. And let's see what else we got. This big dog here. Nice dog. Um, 
this one was going for four ninety nine also at the Goodwill and the brand. I don't know the brand because they put the tag on the brand. Let me see. What is it? Uh, I can't see. Does anybody know this brand here? I can't tell. I'd have to try to let's see. Oh, there it goes. I did it. It came off easy. This is new, 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 new daddy. What? So I'll have to Google that, but he is a nice plush. And he does have some stains that will clean off. Usually stains like that, they come right off with um, Windex. So it's a nice one. So we got that one. And then I found a Disney Babies Dalmatian here. So that's cool. And that's what the tag looks like on that one. I've listed a couple of these. I don't remember if I've sold any or not. But um, so we got that one. Coles Cares, uh, Red Wino, oh, Wino, <laughs> we got a Red Wino here, Red Rhino, haven't seen this one before, so I definitely had to pick it up, trying to sell one of each um, Coles Cares that exists, I've sold a few now, um, so I kind of, I'm familiar with a lot of them that I see, or I come across, but this one is one that I haven't seen, actually this one... And that rabbit from earlier, I haven't seen, I've never seen that rabbit before. So we got this here. Okay. Uh, this panda bear. Panda bears do well. He's a little bit dirty. But again, um, his the spots come off with, uh, with, with Windex. He's from Cartoon Network. The Bear Bears. Oh no, We Bear Bears. Never heard of that. Are you guys familiar with that? It's a nice, he has that same um, texture, or that same material as that big dog, that Neo Neo Daddy dogs. These are cool. They're very soft. Now I'm going to show you my still plush, but my kind of standout ones uh, from Yo Gabba Gabba. You guys remember this show? I forgot her name. You guys are probably yelling at the screen right now. This is from 2010. I uh, don't remember her name, but Yo Gabba Gabba. I like coming across this, uh, this brand, this, this, um, brand. It's not a brand. Yo Gabba Gabba stuff. So, we got that one. And then we found a Blues Clues from 1988. Uh, let's see. Blues Clues, 19. 98 the book says 1998 so i'm assuming he's from 1998 also i don't really see so this something like this blues clues which is still around this is a vintage blues clues so this might be something you'd want to keep an eye out for and he has a notebook the handy dandy notebook it looks like it was used i'll probably just remove the notebook because it's written on and stuff and just sell him by himself see how he how he does um yeah, blues could do. We can too. And this is a Coles Cares I've never seen. And when I came across it, I was like, whoa, this is a nice one. This is from that book, A Color of His Own. And he still has the tag. So that is awesome. So that is a cool one. Coles Cares as well. See that there. And you see it in the tag. Um, <clears throat> I know I've been mentioning... Uh, zombie bargain hunter a lot especially when it comes to plush but really i do i did learn a lot from him um and like i said if you want to learn stuff plush stuff just check out his channel um he does he goes to cole's cares and they because they give you all kinds of points and stuff i haven't done it yet but i guess from time to time they do blow out all their cole's care cole's cares plush so he'll pick up a lot of new ones like that uh if i'm correct just check out the channel he'll talk about it um, but yeah, this is a cool one. Never seen this one. I haven't seen it listed uh, or haven't seen it on eBay. So I don't know how this one's going to go. But that was a cool one. Okay, last two plush. I'll show you this one here. A Grinch from 2007. Um, is his heart right here. Does it turn on? Looks like at, a, at some point 
point you were able to oh right here doesn't work anymore though but that's a cool Grinch right there Grinch has always sold for me so I'll pick up any Grinch I see especially one that's cool looking like this all right and then as I was walking out getting ready to leave I saw this one right here and this one is by Knickerbocker, but I don't know the year on it. And it is this Annie doll. This is more of a doll than a plush. But um, it's cool. It says Annie there. Got her little dog right here in her pocket. Does that go to her? Yeah, it does. It's sewn in there. But that's a cool one, right? I saw her in the last... Um, been as I was gonna walk out, I was like, Whoop, noink, got her. So I don't think she's that old, but I could be wrong. Why are her underwear off? That's weird. Um, uh, but yeah, the tags kind of washed out, so I can't really tell. But I'll just Google her and see what year it is, and I'll tell you right here. Yeah, so that's it. That's all the plush I got. I got a couple other other items. So let me get that stuff and show it to you. Picked up another one of these wands. I picked one up maybe a month ago. I thought it was Harry Potter, but it turns out it is Magic Quest. So now this sign makes sense because I was like, what is this sign? It's an M and a Q. Um, and apparently there's one here uh, where I live. So I'm kind of interested in going to check it out once we're able to. Uh, this one's a bit more fancy. Then the last one, the other one was just wood. This thing was lighting up earlier. I don't know. I don't know how this thing works. Hmm. I don't know. It looks like there's some. Uh, I'll clean it out. But uh, this one's fancier, so I don't know. I don't know if the people collect these. I, I see them sell on on eBay, but I haven't sold the other one yet. Actually, because I've never listed it, and I just took it today to the booth. So, found some more dinosaurs. These are bigger guys, so that's cool. Got a uh, Triceratops here as well. So, they're rubber. These, uh, I don't see a brand on them, but they're, they're pretty cool. And then, white mailing labor, la labors, labels, because uh, this is what I use for pricing for the booth. Oh, and then I found one of those Risk um, games, the Lord of the Ring ones. And I think the Lord of the Rings one is a good one to sell. Uh, but unfortunately, somebody like took off. They opened the box and they just threw it back into the bin. So everything was spread out all over the place. So I got what I could. I was like, maybe I could sell this stuff as like replacement parts. But here's the board. So we got the board. And then I got a handful of the little characters. All the little figures that come with it. So I was like, I don't know. Maybe we'll put this on eBay and see if it's they sell for replacement parts. The board is nice. And it looks like the game was kept in good condition. It's just that somebody at the bins opened the box. And just threw it back like that and everything went all over the place. I was like, bro, why would you do that? Just put it back on there and set it back down. Maybe somebody else wants it. Like me. Right. And we found a Buzz Lightyear. Um, karate chop action. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and he has his wings. I've, I've seen this guy once or twice before, but... He was also, all this was always broken off, like the wings and the the, the bottom part of this. Um, let's see. Oh, cool, it lights up. So. Do you know these light forms? I'm stationed up in the gamma quadrant of sector four. As a member of the elite universe protection unit of the space region, I protect the galaxy from the threat of invasion from the evil emperors or sworn enemy of the galactic alliance. All right. And then, uh, so I found this blaster, um, <clears throat> Star Wars 
think Hasbro put these put these out and it comes with all these pieces. I'm sure it comes with more pieces or you could attach more items to it because it has like this sensor here, it has like a sensor or somewhere you could attach something, something here. I don't know if you, if you guys are familiar with this, let me know. But I was like, there's a lot of it here. So maybe I'll be able to put that in the booth and um, flip it. Still works. It looks like it lights up blue right here. So we got that one. <clears throat> Picked up some Nerf guns. Comes with its clip, works, this is a Raven. So, got that one. Um, and I've been seeing, I still see a lot of Nerf guns, but I have so many that I kind of stopped picking them out and just starting to focus on some that I don't have. Uh, like this guy here, this Rip Chain. Um, uh, does he. Rip chain. I feel like it's, it's gonna have something here. Probably, yeah, huh? You probably need a a uh, like a belt. What are they called? The bullet chain bullet. Why can't I think of words? But um, I don't have this one, so I found it. So maybe I'll be able to. I'll look up to see what it comes with, and maybe I could find that at the booth sometime. And then. I'm surprised that this made it all the way to the bins again. I picked up another one not that long ago. So, saw it, had to get it. <clears throat> another Guitar Hero here. This is a, a Hero Power, I don't know what they're called. I didn't even check the, okay. All right, lights up so it still works. So <clears throat> another guitar. I'm, I'm like, eventually my, my eBay store is going to be just plush and guitar hero, uh, controllers. And then I found this surprisingly, this was still there. It's a 1903. It's not from 1903. This is from, when is this from? Uh, I don't know, but it's a sealed 1903 Wright Flyer laser cut balsa wood balsa model display kit. We just sold something. Um, yeah, so we got that. I thought that was interesting, so I picked that up. And then I found something else here that's pretty cool. But let me see if I could toss some batteries in it because it's not doing anything. Let me see if it even ha ha takes batteries. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, it does take batteries, so I switched them out real quick, and it's this lightsaber right here. So I'm gonna turn down the light and see if, um, see what this thing does. Let's turn off the lights, turn off the lights. Oh, man. Hold on, let me get this light over here. Now, it's nothing fancy, I don't think so, but let's see what if it has some lights i guess i'm having trouble describing things today let's see uh because the the plastic dealies are going to come out and let's see if it lights up that's what i'm trying to say ready here we go all right so looks like it does All right, so there you go. Had a little bit of lights in it. Um, so it does a... And then it... So that's pretty cool. Why not? Pretty cool. Uh, who put this out? I don't know. To activate lightsaber, point away from persons or animals. Do not poke or jab with lightsaber. <laughs> Uh, but it's, it's a big, big lightsaber. Um, anyways, 
yeah that's it though guys uh everything else i got is little stuff dollar bin things i'm sure you guys don't want to see that if you do like seeing that comment below and the next time i'll put it in the video but we're also running out of juice here on the camera uh so i showed you the, showed you the bigger items the more interesting items with plush this stuff here um so again th thanks for watching thanks for stopping by again and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed if you're watching facebook click on over to the youtube to the youtubes and subscribe to my channel that helps a lot uh give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and um ring that notification bell i think you want to do that because we're going to have more bins actions this week and we've got some other stuff going on so you're going to well, you're going to want to come back for that um but thanks for watching guys again check out the links below see you on the next one Oh,